Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on Karina's Creatures. Today I wanted to show you guys my current snake collection and we're going to go from my smallest to my largest. So here we're starting with Scotchy, who is my 11 month old boa constrictor imperator, or boa imperator if you will. So she's a hypo and she's het for call albino. Uh, so if I were to breed her to my call male, um, statistically there would be some albino babies because of course you need the same line of genes for, for that albinism to be compatible. So anyway, she's really calm, she's super friendly most of the time, as long as you don't smell like mice as usual. Um, and speaking of mice, she's eating hoppers, well one hopper, once every 7 to 10 days. She's growing nice and slow and looking good. Next up we have Pumpkin, who is my two and a half year old female amelanistic motley corn snake. She is about 3 foot 9 inches last time I checked, which was February 9th of 2018. So she is a sub-adult. She's slowly getting up to size. As you can see, she's got these beautiful reds and oranges and that crisp white belly. She's got these beautiful saddle marks and that wonderful motley stripage going on in the neck region. She is extremely curious and exploratory and it feels like she's just always on the move. Every time I have her out, She's constantly motoring around wherever it is. Um, when I can get her to stay still, it's when she's found a nice warm pocket in my clothes or in the blanket. So she's super, super docile, as corn snakes usually are. Oh, fun fact though, apparently corn snakes can actually musk, which is a defense mechanism to deter predators in the wild. So apparently, I mean, it is rare for corn snakes, but they technically do have the ability to do this. So if they were stressed out enough and you did just basically do all the wrong things, there is a chance that they would release this really, really stinky toxin. And I believe it's released from their, or in the region of their cloaca. And here you can see that beautiful pattern there. So honestly, the musking thing is more just like a fun fact. It's not anything to be concerned about. There you can see her, her wide smile. And finally, here we have Popcorn, who is my almost three-year-old boa imperator. And he is my call albino. So because of that, you see that he is this beautiful banana boy. And as you move closer to the tail, you get more of those oranges and reds. That is typical of what is commonly known as a red tail boa, even though this is technically not correct because the term red tail boa should be reserved for boa constrictor constrictors or boa constrictors because the nomenclature is in the process of changing. But regardless, you see that he has more of those warmer tones at the end of his tail that is so beautiful so he is very slow moving he is easy to handle um, with the exception of the size because he is getting larger so it makes it um, more challenging to hold him with say just your hands so um, instead of this I typically wrap him around my shoulders because that just um, controls more of his length because at this point he is about five foot six ish so he's getting up there and that is just a lot to watch out for if you're walking around the house they might grab things with their tail and hurt themselves and nobody wants that so with the size in mind he is very handleable and he is absolutely docile I've never had a problem with him and as you can see he's got these beautiful copper eyes, and a little bit of orange around his snout. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any comments or questions or even requests, feel free to leave that down below, and I'll definitely be looking at those. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye!